Hello, and welcome to Decora Lutheran Church. This is our service for the weekend of July the 12th, 2020. We're glad that you could join us. We begin today the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and also with you. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We confess that we are in bondage to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God, in his mercy, has given his Son to die for us, and for his sake forgives us all our sins. As a called and ordained minister of the Church of Christ and by his authority, I therefore declare to you the entire forgiveness of all your sins, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Turn to our Kyrie. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for planting in us the seed of your word. By your Holy Spirit, help us to receive it in joy, live according to it, and grow in faith, hope, and love. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Isaiah, the 55th chapter. 
For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return there until they have watered the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I propose, and succeed in the thing for which I sent it. For you shall go out in joy and be led back in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall burst into song, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the cypress. Instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle. It shall be to the Lord for a memorial, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. Here ends our first reading. And now a reading from Paul from the Gospel of St. Matthew, the 13th chapter. That same day, day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down beside the sea. Such great crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat there, while the whole crowd stood on the beach. And he told them many things in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seeds fell on the path, and the birds came and ate them up. Other seeds fell on rocky ground, where they didn't have much soil. And they sprang up quickly, but since they had no depth of soil, but when the sun rose, they were scorched, and they withered away. Other seeds fell among the thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and brought forth grain. Some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Let anyone with ears listen. Hear then the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what is sown in the heart. That is what was sown on the path. As for what was sown on rocky ground, this is the one who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy, yet such a person has no root, but endures only for a while. And then when trouble or persecution arise on account of the word, that person immediately falls away. As for what was sown among thorns, this is the one who hears the word, but the cares of the world and the lure of wealth choke the word, and it yields nothing. But as for what was sown on good soil, this is the one who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and yields, in one case a hundredfold, in another sixty, and in another thirty. The Gospel of the Lord. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, Lord, may the words of my mouth and meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. Amen. This lesson about the sower and the seed has troubled me many times. It's troubled me because I, I had to stop and wonder, which one am I? Which kind of soil am I? Am I the rocky soil? Am I the path? Am I the weed-choked land? Or am I the good and fertile soil? And I think about that and, con and concerned about that because sometimes it seems to me like I'm that path. And I hear things and it just seems like they don't take root at all. And I read things in the scriptures and, and it's just words to me. And it goes nowhere. And it seems to me sometimes I am like that rocky soil that, oh, that's an interesting idea. Oh, that's an interesting thought. That's an interesting concept. Now what am I going to do? And other times I get excited about something and, and, and I hang on to it for a little while and then other things distract me. And then sometimes it seems to me I'm like that good soil and, and I read something or I hear something 
And it, it just seems to grab hold of me and take root in me and grows and produces something good. And I used to beat myself up thinking there was something wrong with me. Why can't I be good soil all the time? Why can't everything that I hear and read and see in the scriptures and the writings, why can't it all just take a hold in me and produce? And then one day I was thinking about that and I was thinking, you know, I thank God that it doesn't. I would be so scattered, so distracted, so split in so many different directions if that were true. I mean, imagine if every single word of the Lord that you heard took root and grew and flourished in you. Where would you be? I think part of part of what helped me to understand this is the fact that I'm an interim pastor. And I've been in dozens of congregations who have had all kinds of different priorities, all kinds of different missions, all kinds of different viewpoints. And I began to see that that's what the Word of God does. It takes root in different ways in different places. It takes root in different ways in different people. And this congregation is very strong in caring for the hungry. And this congregation is very strong in reaching out for missionaries. And this congregation, they have a wonderful education program and bringing kids in from everywhere. And this congregation has a wonderful ministry for reaching out to the, the elderly and the homebound in their area. And I began to see that that's what God's Word does. That's what God's Word does. It takes root in different ways, in different places. It takes root in different ways in different people. And it's okay that this congregation that's doing the wonderful things with the hungry doesn't do anything with the homeless because this congregation loves to do that and they've got a gift for it. And they don't need to be reaching out to as many of the elderly and the shut-ins because they don't have that many. And this congregation reaching out to missionaries and supporting the work of missionaries in other places, they're doing marvelous things too. And when I realized that, I realized that maybe, maybe it's okay that we aren't all good soil all the time. But that God's word finds a place in us. That God's word is going to speak to us in different ways, in different places, and at different times in our lives. But always, we sow the seed. Always, we spread the good news. And by the grace of God, it will take root and it will flourish, and it will grow in different ways, in different places. But God's word does its work in us and with us and through us. Thank God for the seed he has sown in each and every one of us. Amen.
We continue with the prayers for all of God's people. Gracious God, your word has been sown in many places and in many ways. Help us to be good soil where your word can grow. Bless us, our missionaries, and newly planted congregations around the world. Hear us, O oh God, your mercy is great. Creating God, many are struggling with the weather. Heat is causing suffering for some, while unrelenting rain troubles others. In other places, they're fighting wildfires. Send relief to us all and bless us with favorable weather. Hear us, O oh God, your mercy is great. Reigning God, we pray for our nation. In this time of spreading illness, help us with healers for those who are ill, leaders who will make the difficult decisions to help us all, and the wisdom to take precautions to help ourselves and our neighbors. Hear us, O oh God, your mercy is great. Abiding in God, you care for all those who are in need. Send healing to those who suffer. Send guidance to those who are lost. Send comfort to those who grieve. Hear us now as we share the people and the needs on our hearts today. Hear us, O oh God, your mercy is great. Receive these prayers, O God, and those too deep for words. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now may, there, may neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present nor things to come, nor height nor depth nor anything in all creation be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. May God the Creator, Christ our Redeemer, and the Holy Spirit, our sustainer, be with you and bless you now and forever. Amen. Go in peace, for Christ is with you. Amen.